So how we can measure proficiency in second language writing? That's the question. What's the tools out there? What tests are out there? And how we can uh, make the proficiency a formative experience, a constructive experience? Let's discuss this element here. So there are some demands of reliability, validity, and practicality about the tests. I mean, if you look at IELTS test, if you look at TOEFL test, if you look at comprehension test, the problem is the validity or practicality or the reliability. I mean, if the results are valid, reliable, and practical. So the test should contain a range of numbers, good points, good number of points of assessment. For example, analytic marking, which refers to analyzing the, what, uh, the strengths and weaknesses of students' work, should contain a marking scheme that awards marks for richness of vocabulary, that awards marks for vocabulary, for organization for coherence for content for argument for mechanic so various aspects of writing actually so it's about the award for richness and appropriateness of to what extent the vocabulary used is appropriate and relevant so another demand attached to the validity of a test is to see the grammatical accuracy organization and overall communicative effectiveness so there are different tools to be used in tests for example the use of marks from 0 to 5 can be used to measure proficiency in vocabulary proficiency in organization proficiency in content in argument in coherence so the point here is that the marking proficiency should be holistic one and overall grade i mean Whatever grade is awarded in terms of measuring proficiency, the comments should justify it. So it's important to remember what the research suggests, what I was reading is that we cannot measure students' proficiency on the basis of just one piece of writing. Rather, it requires multiple pieces, multiple pieces of writing. So in order for the efficiency to happen, um, reliable we need to uh, validate it on the basis of multiple drafts for example second draft or third draft and then we can conclude about the uh, proficiency level of students whether, whether it's at um, i mean talking in terms of ielts uh, whether it's um, um, band 6 or 6.5 or 4 or 4.5 so there are various purposes of using proficiency tools or tests. One of the purposes is to highlight the range of range of I mean words vocabulary learned by the students, then the grade awarded. Another purpose is to justify the grade, which is in the with the help of some comments. So when we as language teachers, when we give grades, we shouldn't give grades or award grades for the sake of grades. Rather, these should be accompanied by some rationale, some justification, pointing out the strengths and weaknesses of writing. So measuring proficiency in L2 writing is a challenging area which requires validity, practicality, and reliability.